Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to GTA 5 single player series. Today we're going to be in the train sim mod made by Lieutenant Kane in this awesome AC 44 CW or 4400 CW locomotive made by Bag. Now I have been waiting for an actual uh, like real life locomotive in this game for a long long time now and Bag came through with this awesome awesome looking locomotive. It's available on GTA 5 mods.com. It has eight different uh, textures that you can throw on it. I just threw the CN one on there just because that's the uh, rail line that li that's literally like right next to my house. So I just went ahead and threw that on there because CN is one of my favorite uh, railroads or freight railroads, I should say. So yeah, that's this is the mod that I was actually wanting to do when the uh, that subway came out that uh, for some reason wouldn't work for me, but we got it working here. We're taking control of this awesome uh, AC44, GE AC44, 4T400TW, I can't talk today. But yeah, I love this thing, although I'm going to might edit out the textures just so I can add like actual CN details there on like the cab and everything, like throw on numbers and stuff and whatnot. I might edit out those textures because some of them did not come with numbers, so that's what I'm going to end up doing possibly. But as you can see today, we have this intermodal, like semi-intermodal train, we got like Four, five empties and three uh, single stacks kind of loaded so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's just like a little yard transfer so right now we're out here on the main track uh, we got a clear we got a double clear indication so we'll just call ahead and call it a medium clear we got Michael today Michael's our engineer let's go ahead and hop in the cab here and I gotta admit this cab is pretty damn detailed interior it looks it looks really realistic I absolutely love it like it's very very realistic very nicely detailed I don't think I could actually go over to that side there is a thing all on the bed zero to switch seats but yeah it doesn't work so can't go over to that side but yeah this thing is completely detailed and I absolutely love it looks just like a standard uh, Jeevo or even a da uh, Norfolk Southern Dash 9 just because Norfolk Southern ones have the controls on the on this side the newer ones have controls on the uh, or, uh, the newer ones have these types of controls. The older style had controls on the dash there, like right in front of you. This is called the control stand, and there was desktop controls. This, the uh, newer ones have the control stand, the older ones have desktop controls. For some reason, my favorite to do in like train simulator is the desktop control, just because I don't feel like going over here. But if I can get my rail driver working, which does not work with this game, unfortunately, I would be able to actually go ahead and uh, let that what you call it use it on um, my train sim so I, I might have to go find that cord I know it's somewhere it's somewhere with one of my cords I just have to go find it but without further ado we're in forward let's go ahead and release the brake let's go ahead and throttle up and let's just get on out of here let's go ahead and see if I can turn on the headlights as well which is amazing we got the horn here let's go ahead and throttle up to notch two Break is released. We don't have a bell on the uh, train for some reason, unfortunately. We do not have a bell, but that's all right. ELS is locked. We got a 15 mile an hour zone on a medium clear. Although the gauges and everything do not work on it, we do have a kilometer per hour speedometer with us as well, so we're we can see what we're doing. Right now we're going four miles an hour. Okay, notch it up to notch three. Just coming out of the yard here. Normally we'd have a bell, but we don't have a bell for today. It looks like the windows are actually open. I can't tell. I, mean, I can't tell because that's weird. Like normally it would be in the gather. I guess that's like a little glitch with the uh, the engine. But I absolutely still love it. We're actually gonna go ahead and do the crossing with like the horns and everything. So the horn sequence, all that fun stuff. So so nothing wrong with that. We are speeding right now, going 18 and a 15, which really isn't the worst thing. You, most railroads do have an over maximum override of three, so we can go 18 and 15, no biggie. We got a clear indicator. Normally, that's all we're going to have is a clear indicator. That bell just means the speed, speed limit has changed. In real life, that doesn't actually happen, but another medium clear. But yeah, in real life, that doesn't actually have another clear, and then another clear. Jesus Christ, so many clears. Yeah, in real life, you don't get a bell that actually lets you know that the speed limit's been changed. It's literally, you just it just changes. Unless you're in a cab signal territory, like on your northeast corridor, which is like your Amtrak, a cell and all that, then there's like a little limiter in the locomotive that lets you know your um, uh, speed and sig next signal and what signal you're riding on, next signal, all that fun stuff. But I'll go ahead and do a video on that here uh, shortly. 
on the northeast corridor so I can show you guys what you're talking about. A lot of like electrified lines had with the horseshoe curve line, the Altoona. I think I'm saying it right, Altoona one has it. We got a 50, let's go notch full. Let's go full, let's go notch eight. It doesn't actually sound like it's notching up. That's the that's one of the drawbacks of the GTA 5 that you can't actually have. If I could find some realistic train sounds, I would. But I can't actually find any. So, unfortunately, we're just going to stick with, like, default noises. But other than that, it's actually... I love this locomotive bag. You have done an amazing job on this, brother. I can't wait. I know he said he has a lot more to be released. He's got freight cars and everything. I honestly cannot wait. This is probably one of my, like been something I've been waiting for since I got GTA 5 for PC was like a real life actual train in the game. There's been a few but nothing that I've like shocked my interest. I might use it in some other ones here shortly but nothing that's actually came my interest like this one and I'm in love with it honestly. This is going to be the main locomotive I keep in the game. It's a lot more realistic than your other one where 45 so but not too. But yeah it's more realistic than your other um, default Dash 9 SD60 SD40 Dash 2 looking type locomotive, whatever the hell it actually was. It had like the cab of a 42 SD40 Dash 2, a um, body of like an SD60, but it was a, a, like a Dash 9 type shit. I don't know. This is an eight. This is similar to the Dash 9. It's like the Dash 9's brother. It's a Jivo. It's also made by GE evolution series whatever you want to call it but yeah 85 miles an hour for a train that's way too fast we're gonna kind of stick this to 60 so that would be like your normal uh, freight um, uh, speed limit would be 60 miles an hour 65 freight trains on my line if they have the minimum axle count which normally they do is 65 miles an hour I believe 60 60 60 or 65 one of the two Amtrak is restricted. Amtrak goes a little bit further to 79, although restricted if they're using single level coaches. It's restricted down to 70. But yeah, so we're down to 80 now. I don't understand who would be, what regular train would be doing 80 miles an hour. Or freight train would be doing 80 miles an hour. This isn't like the Chicago to St. Louis line where they actually go 100. So, freight trains are going to restrict down to 60. Most freight trains can only go up to like 75 miles an hour, or freight locomotives only go up to like 75 miles an hour anyway so back in new idle they call it neutral it's idle no line anything so but yeah i actually like this locomotive it's like a pretty sweet looking i love it a lot gotta get that damn phone away back to an 85 we're just gonna keep kind of i don't know why the lights shut off there we go but yeah it's a nice locomotive awesome. The train sim mod made by Lieutenant Kane is actually a very, very older style, older mod. It actually might have even, like, came out when LSPDFR came out, but nonetheless, I tried using it before. It didn't work. We're using it now, and it's probably something I might do a lot of, because there's a, like I said, there's a lot of different uh, locomotives and stuff out there that I kind of want to do, but they really shock my interest like this one did. Look at that. We're down to a 75 mile an hour zone. I wish you could switch seats though, or open the doors up inside, that'd be sweet. Hopefully we don't hit a deer, or an animal today. It's not what I'm trying to do, here's us go ahead and just... Yeah, that's the one thing about the brake, that's my key binding, is that it'll, uh... Get you out the cab, put you back in third person, then it'll bring up the phone, which I don't understand why, but whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. But yeah, I'm not trying to make this that... To make that... that, 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 that make this too long of a video just kind of showcasing off the uh, detail and whatnot of this actual train and once we get here we'll go ahead and do a little walk around of it it's actually we can stop right here honestly and do a little walk around of it yeah, I think we're gonna stop right here and do a walk around all right we're slowing down brakes are kind of squeaking which is a good sound which is a good sound so like uh, application and then that one's your whole handle off or suppression or whatever and then emergency. But yeah, brakes are kind of squeaking a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually hop out of here. Alt 12. 
But yeah, check out this monster bad boy. I should have done this in the beginning, but might as well do it right now. Absolutely nicely detailed. It looks just like its real life counterpart. And I gotta say, it's amazing. Got your coupler there, which might be a little, no, it's not too long. Got your air hoses, your brake hoses, all that fun stuff. Headlight switch. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Dutch lights, headlights, the ladders there. Got your door there, as well as the painted guardrails, which I love. All this does kind of clipping off, as you can see. Not, not too bad. As you can see, it's kind of like off the locomotive there, but not too bad, not too bad. It's highly detailed. Like I said, I might make some changes to the texture here and everything to add road numbers and stuff like that. But yeah, this thing just looks pretty, pretty badass as fuck. Bag did a very, very nice job on this locomotive. Phenomenal work. Just go ahead and look at the back here. How can we car here? But yeah, it looks like they're missing some bolts here on the back ditch lights. We got your back uh, rear headlight. Looks like they're missing some bolts on the rear ditch lights. Although the one thing is, I don't think CN has rear ditch lights. I know some freight companies do not have them. It's just the headlight. So, but like I said, the couplers do not match, which, I mean, this is GTA 5 rolling stock versus like a real life engine. So, he said he's making some real life uh, rolling stock when I read the comments through this thing. So, we'll see. We'll see how those turn out. It looked, it looked nice in the pictures when he was pulling it. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. But yeah, I can right now what I can do is just throw in like random uh, uh, textures for these that... Uh, or on LC, or not on LC, but GTA 5 mods. I will have a link to this locomotive and the train sim mod in the description below as well, so don't worry about that if you guys want to try it out. It is a very fun mod. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and tie the train down here. But yeah, this is phenomenal. Absolutely highly detailed. Looks amazing. He said he's going to do make some changes to it here in the near future and come up with some more locomotives, so I'm actually pretty, pretty stoked about that. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video, guys. Just kind of wanted to show off the train here. And I hope you all enjoyed. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the locomotive and the video. So if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I do plan on using this locomotive in more uh, videos. I might do the Norfolk Southern one and maybe a BNSF one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we come to that. But I don't know what the hell he is. That should be a D for derail. But I don't see a derail anywhere. So I don't know what that is. But yeah, as you can see also, it's kind of kind of not on the tracks. Kind of, well, yeah, it's kind of not on the tracks, but that's something that should hopefully be fixed here in the next update or two or three or whatever. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Go ahead and also check out the rest of the guys that are in that description below. Make sure you send them some love. I know JB always does a lot of streams during the night, so if you're a night owl and you're doing nothing, go ahead and check out his streams. Uh, he does stream a lot at night, some LCP, or LSPD4, some American Truck Sims, so yeah, go ahead and check them out. And uh, I'll catch you guys here on the next episode. Peace out, everyone.